Hi, we're the Trinidian couple. Hi. Take three. So, <laughs> in the last video, we showed you how we store rice for long-term storage. Now, we store rice for a few different reasons. One is inflation, one is to protect ourselves in case we need food and we just can't afford it. Uh, do Chinese people store food? No, we don't store food. But last week, government just gave us notice we should store some food in case some emergency happened. So now in China, the rice price is going much higher, like um, three times than normal. People are crazy buying rice now. I think that's possible to come here too. Yeah, in case it comes here soon. So we should store some food right now. Yes, before it yeah. gets too expensive. And that's what we did. So we'll give you a, a little bit of an example of how much you would need for a single person uh, for an entire year. We'll see that in a minute. Okay. So there is lots of different uh, food calculators online that will tell you how much food you need for one person. Uh, to give you a visual example of how much 400 pounds of grains would be, I have set out 200 pounds on my counter. Um, and again, dependent on where you live is what you would store. So we have 100 pounds of wheat here, white wheat and red wheat, and there's also 100 pounds of white rice. Now, our family eats lots of rice. We also make lots of bread out of our grain. Now, if you don't have this stuff in your store, but you have farmers nearby, you can talk to your farmers and you can ask them for uh, wheat and stuff like that. As long as it's non-GMO, I have lots of wheat that I bought from friends when I was working at the mine and I have a lot of that stored from even 10-15 years ago. So again, dependent on where you live, that's going to determine what kind of grains you're storing and this is just a visual of about 200 pounds of grains in total. So depending on the type of food storage that we are doing, whether it's long term or short term, depends on how we store it. For rice, for example, we just packaged this rice September 11th, 2021. And this is going to be for shorter term storage. We're going to be using uh, usually probably within the next two years. I do have rice here that we stored in larger quantities. You can see it is vacuum sealed. And it's on the other one. This one is from August of 2012. So this rice is already nine years old in this bag and it will be as fresh as the day that we packaged it and ready to eat. And you can see it's vacuum sealed as well. I never suck the air out of these when I package them. I just use oxygen absorbers and you can see all the packages are perfectly sealed. So remember the amount that you need for a single person for a year is about 400 pounds. This is 100 pounds of rice. That's it. Now we have 100 pounds of rice. So that was the rice. Now let's talk about wheat. In front of me, I have 100 pounds of wheat. Now in each one of these containers, there's 26 pounds. That is enough to make 26 one pound loaves of bread for each one of these. So this is 100 loaves of bread right here. And that's the way to easy, easily figure it out. 100 loaves of one pound of bread. The difference between the red wheat and the white wheat is the red wheat will be a more dense loaf, whereas the white wheat will be slightly fluffier. So why you store wheat instead of flour? Flour is much easier to make bread. Yes, but the flour also will go bad a lot quicker than the, than the wheat itself. The wheat is uncracked grain. It has a protective shell on the outside. We could take this wheat and this wheat is probably, it says 2011. So this is 10 years old and this wheat will still sprout. We could grow it if we really wanted to. Um, and this will last forever indefinitely. The storage life on these canisters says 30 years. So that was about 200 pounds. So a half year's worth of food for one person, just grains. So it'd be a pretty boring life if all we had was rice and bread. So the way that we do that is we'd supplement it. We'd make our life a little bit more fun by bringing out a little bit of the other grains. Now, these are a few examples of some of the other grains that you can use. Again, wheat, but puffed wheat, cereals, popcorn. These are quick oats that I packaged in September of 2014. Um, anything like this can help supplement it. And you can actually add this to your bread as well, as well as noodles and pasta. Noodles and pasta are a great choice. 
because kids love them and you can cook them as much as you need. And stored properly with oxygen absorbers, the noodles, the oats can store almost indefinitely. Popcorn and these things have a shorter shelf life, but they do add flavor to your food storage. So uh, we just talk about the one person for one year, about 400 pounds of grains. But if you have other people in your family that you love, come here. Like this little one. <laughs> this one. Heavy one eats so much food. Then remember, the calculations do change. They go up yes. 400 pounds per adult, about 200 pounds per child under the age of seven. And you can store what you like. like uh, and if you don't like rice or don't like wheat, then definitely you can store any other grains that you do like to eat. Yes. Uh, remember, always store what you eat. Always rotate your storage as well. You want to be using the oldest stuff first and then replenishing it with new stuff. Usually when it goes on sale, that's the best time to buy it. Yes, let's store food. See you next time. Next time we're going to uh, talk about how much meat and uh, vegetables we should store. Yes. Right? See, See you, you next time. time. We are Chinese and Kappa. If you like bye -bye. our video, please bye. subscribe us. Bye. Bye bye.